Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I wanted to show you a little more about the Terminator connecting rod. I have a, another video showing the rod, the crank, and some other things, so I'll put the link to that in the video description. But I do have a Terminator connecting rod and piston, and also a stock 4.6 liter connecting rod and piston. So I wanted to show you these side by side so you can see the massive difference. Here's the traditional 4.6 liter connecting rod and piston. It is not forged, it's a cast piece, and uh, so you can see uh, kind of what this looks like. It has quite a bit of addition here, but it's still a 9.66 compression ratio. The Terminator, they actually dropped down a little more to 8.5 uh, compression ratio. But as you can see, it says SVT and Manly on it, which was uh, something Ford had to do at the time. They were running out of time and couldn't produce a connecting rod strong enough, so they turned to Manly. It also had ARP hardware, which is really nice. But this is a forged connecting rod and a forged piston. piston. The piston is uh, Zollner is the brand and uh, as you can see it, here's the part number on it uh, the 2R3V6110-FA and it has an arrow showing which way the uh, piston needs to face uh, towards the front of the engine and that is the same as where the SVT writing is uh, which is a question I've had before too but uh, anyway you can see uh, the massive difference here with these H-beam rods, forged rods uh, these are really strong you really do not see them ever being um, broken on their own other than cases of extreme detonation or something catastrophic but as far as holding power they will hold power all day long and put up with a lot of um, detonation you'll lose chunks of the piston before you bend the rod so very good connecting rod you've um, you know you can look at the stock hardware for the regular 4.6 uh, you know and stock rods for the 4.6 are good to about 450 rear wheel horsepower about 500 horsepower before they'll snap and so the Terminator rods have been known to hold uh, over a thousand. Uh, Ford's cost on their traditional 4.6 connecting rods is about six dollars each uh, and when they went to the Manly ones they were uh, at their cost it was about fifty six dollars each so fifty dollars more per rod times eight rods and uh, so you could see how much of a difference that made for the budget and uh, anyway it's just something to mention. A uh, fun story about these is the stock connecting rods, when they put them in the Terminator engine at first, they kept snapping and uh, on the dyno. And in order to meet production standards, you have to run the engine for 300 hours straight, switching from max horsepower to max torque, back and forth. And uh, John Coletti was sweating bullets because all the connecting rods kept snapping, and so that's when he turned to Manly. And um, he kept on his desk one of the stock connecting rods out of the engine, the test engine, uh, that easily surpassed the 300 hour uh, dyno test. So anyway, that just shows uh, the extreme conditions that they put these under for testing and that uh, these rods had absolutely no problem with them, which is no surprise when you see how many people uh, just completely beat the crap out of these uh, Terminators and they hold up uh, very well. So anyway, just uh, some fun history as well with these and uh, just wanted to show you this. So if you have any questions, let me know and thanks for watching.